Hello everyone and happy Monday. It's Monday, June 13, 2022. And welcome to this entertainment report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. I'm Riley King and let's get started with the entertainment report right now. First up, Jonas Brothers support their parents' new Vegas restaurant opening exclusive. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. I am a business hotel. I eat, sleep, and breathe efficiency. I'm looking for... Let's talk about the Jonas Brothers. Just hours after they kicked off their Las Vegas residency, our Cassie Delora caught up with the guys at the opening of their Sin City restaurant. It's another E.T. exclusive. I'm a sucker for you. Your parents have been supporting you guys all your career. Now you're here to support them. How much fun is this? How proud are you? It's a family affair. The idea that we can all be here together and support them. They've been working so hard on this. We're obviously honored. A family affair is right. The boys were joined by brother Frankie, Kevin's wife Danielle, and their daughters, and of course, their parents, Kevin Sr. and Denise. This is their second location of Nelly's Southern Kitchen, located at MGM Grand, a restaurant inspired by the Joe Bros' great-grandmother. Nick said to me, this is the perfect city for a Nelly's because after you go have a good time, yeah. you need that Southern cooking to just help make you feel better. In other words, some really great drunk food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You guys have enough grandkids for Jonas 2.0. Would you be down? Absolutely. In fact, we had four boys. We already have four granddaughters, and so we're, we're so thrilled. I hear you are the favorite uncle. I just never grew up. I'm the fun one. All these years later, you guys are still making music together. You're all fathers. You're all husbands. Is this the life you've always dreamed of and prayed for for each other? Definitely happy we're having here now, for sure. It's larger than we ever expected. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Very cool. Their parents have a restaurant in Vegas. Cool, cool, cool. Nick Cannon confirms more babies are on the way. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. <laughs> We have three babies on the way. Is that true or false? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what if the stork is on the way? This is what I said. If you thought the numbers are uh, put up in 2021, <laughs> <laughs> wait till wait you till see you know the time. <laughs> First, a refresher of Cannon's kids by the numbers. The 41-year-old already fathered seven children with four women. Three were born last year. Baby mama number five, Bree T.A.C., seen out yesterday, is expecting Nick's eighth child. Abby De La Rosa, the mom to nearly one-year-old twins Zion and Zillion, recently announced she is pregnant. And as for this little experiment... My therapist says I should be celibate. Maybe take a break. Take five. On the Lip Service podcast, Nick revealed his celibacy journey ended last December after the tragic passing of five-month-old son Zay. I got depressed, like, with the loss of my son and stuff. Right before Christmas, I started like crazy. Now to more baby news. We'll have a Country star Sam Hunt revealed his wife, Hannah Lee Fowler, gave birth to their first child, a daughter named Lucy Lou. The couple's happy news comes weeks after Fowler's request to call off their divorce was signed off by a judge. It is important to stop and sit still and reflect from time to time. In the initial divorce filing, Fowler alleged Hunt engaged in, quote, inappropriate marital conduct. Our source tells ET, quote, Sam has been putting the work in and making sure that Hannah trusts him. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for the entertainment report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye.